One of the last things my dad said to me was that video games were a waste of time. So you know what? Let's waste some time. Everyone who tries golf falls in love with the sport. Except for those who don't even like golf. For some, golf is a way of life. And others just like to play it casually. Their dream is to be the best unless they just play. Just play for fun now, but that's ridiculous. Who ever heard of having fun? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was some interesting freestyle. But anyway, I'm Sporknator. Welcome to Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color, a game that took up much of my time back when I first got it, because it was the first game I ever got for my Game Boy Color, and for a long time it was the only one I had, until I later got another one, which I believe was Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. But anyway, let's see what's in options. Probably not too much stuff. Oh, by the way, I should mention that this game basically taught me everything I would need to know to play golf, except how to actually hit the ball, because I've never actually gotten to play golf in real life, and no, miniature golf does not count. But if you're wondering what an albatross is, it's a score of three strokes under par on a hole, so... There's like an entire dictionary to tell you all this stuff that you wouldn't normally not know about golf unless you had, like, p previously played it. And I guess technically I have, but only video game golf, like I mentioned before. But anyway, let us begin a new game in one-player mode. By default, we can create a character, and that's what we have to do to unlock everything. By default, we have Luigi and Mario to start out with, but... Playing as them and doing practice rounds and stuff will never get you anywhere. You have to actually create a character. Now, the interesting thing about Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color, at least versus Mario Golf Toadstool Tour on the GameCube, I don't know if I ever really played the N64 version of Mario Golf. I kind of got just the Game Boy version and the GameCube version. It's like I left over any other Mario Golf games that were in between and just never, never got them, but... Anyway, let's create a new character. Start by creating a new character. Of course. That's what I'm here to do, man. First, select a player. So we get to choose whether we want to be female or male. And as far as I can tell, this choice has no effect on the gameplay. And no... As far as I... Bleh, I can't even talk today. As far as I can tell, this choice has no of the game ploy. What was even that? Anyway, this has no effect on the gameplay, and that's how it should be, so... I think in my last playthrough that I did off-screen, I actually picked female just for kicks. But I'm actually gonna pick the guy with the glasses just because he's so funny looking. And, of course, we're gonna pick left-handed because that's how I play. I'm a lefty. Is this okay? No, my stats are terrible. Can I change them? No, you can't. Anyway, what is your name? So by default, this guy's name is Joe, which is kind of funny because my name starts with J-O. Like, my, my name realize is, of course, Josiah, but... I go by Sporknator on YouTube, but for this Let's Play, I'm, this is actually a setup for a joke or two later on. And this is so terrible, but I'm gonna name him Lemon. Don't ask me why. It'll all make sense later on, probably many episodes down the line. Just for some stupid joke later. But anyway, we're naming him Lemon. Okay, Lemon, good luck. Lemons? I await the day you reach the top. But you know, when life gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. Marion Club, Director's Office. Oh, boy. Hello, Lemon. It's your first day as our student. Follow our advice, and you'll be a great golfer. Now, Lemon, let me introduce the club staff. I'm the pro here at Marion Club. Nice to meet you. The Golf Master Mario is the idol of all golfers. I know what it's like to want to be like Mario. Well, I wouldn't know what that's like. If you become a pro, you may get to meet Mario. I'm the Caddy Master here at Marion Club. I'm responsible for the course and can answer questions. Look after Lemon, okay? Lemons? Use Marion Club's facilities to improve your game. Select Clubhouse to come here anytime. See you on the green! So, we have various options here. We can practice any hole we want, play a practice round, face off against a club champ, which would be a good idea to do this now, but no, we're gonna save that for later. 
And you can also enter a tournament right away. But you can also do all this from the RPG-like overworld, or whatever you want to call it, that this game has. This game plays a lot like an RPG involving golf, which I think is pretty cool. You can even talk to these NPCs here. See, it's an RPG. Club members sign in at this counter and go to the Caddy Master's office to get a start time. This is the visitor's counter. Non-members sign in here. Caddy Master then gives them a start time. Well, all this is kind of interesting, but I don't know why they have to tell me this. Like, what's it matter? It's a golf game. Who cares, right? Anyway, this course has many bunkers and water hazards. But guess what? They all do! Avoiding them can be tough. If you dunk your ball, it's a one-stroke penalty. Bunkers are sand traps. Escaping from them is tough. And eh, not really. Everyone thinks so much before playing, they choke. Well, I mean, sand traps are, like, really hard to get out of in real life, I would imagine, but not so much in the video games. I want to increase my drive by 20 yards. If I do, I can use a short iron on my second shot. And if you haven't played golf, you really have no idea what he's talking about. But approach shots are more important than tier iron shots. If you miss the green on the second stroke, only a good approach can save par. What is par? Eh, I suppose we'll get into that. Aren't there a lot of golfers waiting to start? I want to see what's in here. There's like a lot to explore in this world. This is where your trophies will be placed when you win club tournaments. So, not really any reason to go there other than to look at them, I guess. What's up here, though? Oh, this is the lounge. Good approach shots can really help your score. Yes, indeed. You know, lower clubs have less control, but dang. Bunker shots don't necessarily have to make the green. Well, whatever, man. Hey, he's, this guy's looking out the window. It's easy to come up short if you don't use distance clubs in a headwind. In a tailwind, use small clubs. Oh, you know. Yeah, sure I know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hello! The club champs are here in the lounge today. I want to be a club champ so I can hang there, too. So, I guess we could check out who the club champs are. This is pretty cool. If you're going up there, you'd better know who's who. The only thing I don't like about their little explanation is that they spoiled all the guys' names at once when some of them are kind of funny. But anyway, those are the club champs. I'll tell you who's who. The intellectual on the right is Link's club champ, Genius. Yes, they went there with the puns, and they named him Genius, basically. He's the best of the club champs. In third place, the stud next to him is Dune Champ Tiny, the second best. And this guy's actually the muscle man, and they named, named, they named him Tiny. That's the joke. The lady is Palm Champ Grace. She's next in line. Second place. And dead last, we have the little guy on the left, Putz. As Marion Champ, he's at the bottom of the ladder. Did you get that? Yeah, I do believe I did. If you want to be a club champ, know your rivals. I'm just wondering, there's like a suspicious gap here. Is there anything here? Guess not. Now this is where you can come if you want to challenge them to a match game, and we could challenge Putz, Putz right now if we want to, but no. Don't think I'm going to do that yet. First I'm going to finish exploring the clubhouse, because this is fun to do at least once. Have I talked to everyone? I think I already talked to this person. Yeah, I already did. How about this guy here? Low trajectory in headwinds, high trajectory in tailwinds. Low trajectory. So he's repeating, he's trying to, like, train his mind, I guess, just by repeating himself. Not that that'll help, but I suppose that's worth a try. To avoid hazards, don't use a driver on the tee shot. Well, you're supposed to use a driver on the tee shot. Otherwise, you won't really get anywhere, in my opinion, in my experience playing this game, but... I don't know, any, uh, funny thing is, I'm a man, but I can go in the girls' locker room. Not that there's really anything dirty to do in here. You can actually talk to them, they don't even care, because it's a golf club, after all. The Golf Master Mario is my idol. My dream is to play around with him. Yeah, that's that's real funny. That stupid bunker. Is that all you say? On a duff, it's nice shank, or, sh or so they say. Hmm, do you say anything else? Or is it just those two things? Okay, I'm done talking to you. Yikes, it's Chain Chomp. Shh, it's asleep. It's funny, every time you check a locker, you'll see something random. It's Toad. Oh, it's just a toadstool. You can even check the same locker over and over. Ah, it's Boo! Huh? It disappeared! A yellow cap and a fake mustache. Could it be? Who could it be? Ah, it's Boo! Oh, I already saw Boo. It's empty. Well, it wasn't empty the last time I checked, so there's some kind of voodoo magic going on here. A fishing rod? Oh, it's Lakitu's locker. Everyone knows Lakitu, right? He's the guy on the cloud with the fishing rod. And the camera, if he's in Super Mario 64. 
It's Donkey Kong. Oh, it's just a wooden gorilla. What would a wooden gorilla be doing in someone's locker, man? That's that's what I have to ask. You found Koopa's shell, but where's Koopa? Koopa is, of course, a turtle. A piranha plant bouquet? Don't touch. It's cold inside. Just like me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You found a Shy Guy mask. Very nice. The thing, thing is, though, Shy Guys aren't allowed to exist in real life. But if I... Super Mario Bros. 2 is an old game. The ending of the game, Mar Mario is just dreaming, so Shy Guys and Birdo and all those characters really shouldn't exist in real life, or at least in the main part of the Mushroom Kingdom, because they were all part of a dream. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. I'm trying to see if I have exhausted all these possibilities. You found Mario Golf for the N64. Give it a shot. I feel like I really should try that at some point, because I never have. You found a Yoshi egg! It's about to hatch! Okay, I think I've pretty much exhausted all the possibilities for what you can find in the lockers. Might as well go talk to the men in the men's locker room for a change. If your level increases, extend your drive first. Long drives are one of golf's many charms. That's true, but control is important too. That's what makes this game tricky. Maintaining balance is important. Drive is important, but so is control, yeah. Yeah, I think I've already exhausted, like, all the things that, that this could possibly say. It's pretty random. But anyway, that's that. Oh wait, there's a guy behind here that I didn't talk to. A wide meat area means fewer missed shots. Well, I'll keep mine wide, baby. You know I will. So I think we're done there. I don't think I've gone up here yet. Oh, this is the director's room. We've technically already been here. But might as well check it out anyway. Great things await you if you build a reputation as an expert. To do so, you must first face the club champ. Can I check the clock? Can I check this? Yeah, I guess we'll check it all out again later, maybe. I don't know. If you need me, ask at the Caddy Master's office. Sir? Train at Marion Club to enter the club tournament. Place here and you can enter other club tournaments. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Well, I'd say it's about time we get to playing golf at some point here. Might talk to a few more people along the way. I already talked to this girl, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Everything, yeah. Anyway, we should go up here. This actually leads to the golf course. This person here, I think, tells you how to look up words in the dictionary, but I'm gonna skip on that for now. The more you know about golf, the more fun it is. Yeah, that's true, but knowledge alone isn't enough. Form is important, too. And this person, hello. Wanna learn some golf lingo? This just gives us quiz, quick access to the dictionary, basically, so that's pretty cool. And this, wanna know golf rules? This will tell us all about golf rules, like what is a birdie? It's two strokes, or one stroke below par. Sorry, two strokes below par is actually an eagle, as you can see here. And I'd like to actually read every single one of these, but I don't think I will. I can explain it as I go, as I play. So. This will tell you about golf equipment. Funny thing is, a clique is a five wood, but you don't have one. And I just found that bit interesting, even if I don't read all the rest. You'll gain one level with 16 more points. Yeah, leveling up is real easy in the beginning. Okay, so from left to right, this first area enters the course. So if we go here, we're gonna play a practice round, but I don't think we're gonna do that yet. We're gonna go to all the other areas to get some basic training. And even though I already know how to play the game, this is good for experience points, so there's always a reason to, to do that and level up and increase how far you can hit, or your meat area control, all that good stuff. But anyway, it's a good idea to learn terms for different shots. For a righty, curving left is a hook, while right is a slice. But what if I'm a lefty? Does it matter? Anyway. Sometimes you can't use a one wood because of trees and hazards. You just have to do it with a short club. I'm doing iron shots. Want to watch me practice? Yes, I do. One iron, two iron, and wedges are used based on their distances. I don't even have a one iron, though, do I? I don't think so. Anyway, irons with loft are easily affected by wind, so club selection's important. Watch, I'm aiming for the green. Normal power is enough for accurate iron shots. Next, select a club. In a tailwind, I use one club lower than normal. What if I could do better? What if I could get the ball to actually go in the hole? Getting on with a two iron was lucky. Wanna try? Yes, I do. Yeah, I get it. Consider the wind. 
Yeah, because that arrow up in the top right corner tells us which way the wind is blowing, so it's like 10 miles an hour upwards, so... Wherever we aim is not actually going to be that accurate. We can use select to zoom in on the green. This can help us aim a little more accurately. I think I might just hit full power, though, and see what happens. So we press the, bu press the button once to get it moving, press it again to set the power, and then press it again when it returns to the meat area to shoot. It's a little bit complicated, and I didn't, I didn't get it at first. I couldn't even figure out how to play, even though I had the instruction manual. So what I had to do was challenge Putz to a match game and watch how he played, and that's when it all finally clicked. And we'll be challenging him later, but anyway. So, here goes nothing. Well, that wasn't quite full power, but with the wind, it just might be good enough. Roll, baby, roll. It didn't roll nearly as far as I thought it would. It's probably because I didn't hit hard enough. But I made the green, and it was pretty close to the hole, I guess. Pretty close to the shot she made. So it's probably good enough. You have an amazing sense for distance and direction. Or did I just copy what you did? Who knows. Anyway, you earned 20 experience points. We only needed 16 to level up, so that's a level up. Man, my shot is a sharp draw. I don't like that at all. I kind of want to straighten it out. I don't know how important that is, though. There's also the meat area. I'm never sure what I should level up. I'll focus on increasing my drive later. I'm going to try to straighten out my shot. So there we go. That's leveling up in a nutshell, I guess. I think there's another guy over here who does something cool. You know what you need for a good shot? I don't know. Maybe you'll tell me. A plan of attack for each hole and good shots are key. Oh, okay. Yes, I do want to see. The more strategic the course, the sharper your aim should be on the tee shot. Even if the fairway seems open, you have to know your target. Do tell me more, sir. Thinking in real terms, my second shot should land here. But if I want to use this tailwind, I should hit high. First, choose a club. On a four or five bar hole, one wood should be fine. I gain distance with a power shot, so I'm going to use that. Oh, power shots are fun. The meter turns red and you can hit about 20 yards further. I think that's how they work, in general. So we're just trying to land on the fairway is all we're trying to do, I guess. This is real practice. Wanna try? Sure thing, man. I'll get experience points for it. Choose a club, choose a power shot. And go for it. I actually want to see if I can get the power shot perfect. Because in, in golf games in this, you get six power shots, and as long as you hit each one, each power shot perfect, you never lose your power shots. But if you don't get it perfect, you lose one, so you'll drop from six to five, five to four, etc. And then when you're out of power shots, you simply can't use them anymore. So let's see if this one can be perfect. Drat, so cl That was just terrible. I'm actually pretty bad at the timing on this. It's gonna take me some practice to get back into it, I think. Even though I just played this recently. I think that's okay normally, but try for more accuracy. Yeah, let's try it again. I get it, you told me all this already. Yeah, I think we have to hit it perfectly, then he'll be happy with it. There we go! Perfect power shot. In theory, all our shots should be like that, unless we're purposely cutting them short. That ought to do it. Just a perfect shot is all we needed. It's not that hard. Wow, a perfect power shot! You're talented! Sure I am, man. I'm the ultimate golfer. Do I get to level up again? I guess not quite. Don't know how many points it is to the next level, but that is done! Pretty sure there's two lessons in each area, and if you need help keeping track of these, you can actually check your stars. This is This will tell you what you've already done. So, I believe next time on Let's Play Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. We'll go this way, and it should take us to approach practice which I'm certain will be a ton of fun. But anyway, I'm the Sporkinator, thank you for watching, and may we golf again in the future. Goodbye for now.